we're given f of x equals negative four secant five x. We want to determine the derivative of the function. The first thing we should recognize here is that we have a composite function where five x is the inner function, so we'll have to apply the chain rule. Looking at our derivative formula below, notice how u is the inner function, so the chain rule is built into our formula. The derivative of secant u with respect to x is equal to secant u times tangent u times u prime. So looking at the given function, notice how the inner function u is equal to five x. So if u is equal to five x, we'll also need u prime, or the derivative of u with respect to x, which would just be five. So now if we wanted to, we could write the given function in terms of u, this would be equal to negative four secant u. And therefore, f prime of x would be equal to negative four times u derivative of secant u with respect to x, which would give us negative four times secant u tangent u times u prime. But we're trying to find the derivative with respect to x so now we'll perform substitution for u and u prime. So f prime of x equals negative four times secant u, which is equal to five x, times tangent u, where again u is equal to five x, times u prime, which is equal to five. Simplifying one more time, we have f prime of x is equal to negative twenty secant five x, times tangent five x. After you do enough of these, you probably won't show this much work and just perform mental u substitution. But when first learning the chain rule, I think listing u and u prime can be helpful. Let's take a look at a second example. Here we have f of x equals two cosecant three x. We want to find f prime of x. Again, we have a composite function where the inner function is three x, so we'll have to apply the chain rule. And our derivative formula here does have the chain rule built in, again, where the inner function is u. The derivative of cosecant u with respect to x is equal to negative cosecant u times cotangent u times u prime. So notice here the inner function u is equal to three x. So if u equals three x, then u prime, or du dx is equal to three. So we could write this in terms of u as two cosecant u. And therefore, f prime of x is equal to two times the derivative of cosecant u with respect to x. So applying our derivative formula, we'd have negative cosecant u times cotangent u times u prime. But again, our goal is to find the derivative with respect to x, so f prime of x is equal to two times negative cosecant u, which is actually three x, times cotangent u, or cotangent three x, times u prime, which is three. So simplifying one more time, we'd have f prime of x equals, coefficient would be negative six, cosecant three x, cotangent three x. And this would be our derivative function. I hope you found this helpful.